no problem. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a little bit of a different intro. I'm starting off with no makeup. I have a little bit of brows on, but that's pretty much it. I wanted to start off like this because I'm honestly not having the best week. I haven't been in my best like mindset for a few days already and I haven't posted anything. I recently went to an event, but like I just haven't been feeling right. And the reason why I'm here is because makeup is therapeutic to me. I share so much with you guys and just sharing with you all and interacting with you all helps me feel better mentally. So I'm here because of that. I know I always end on a positive note and not to say that we are not, but before we start, I just wanna let you guys know it's okay not to be okay. You don't have to be happy and positive all the time. You can have your moment. Just don't stay there too long, but have that moment. It's completely normal it's very healthy and that's kind of what i'm doing right now i am using this video today as a form of therapy for me so i'm going to be trying all the new drugstore makeup that i have not tried i have a bag of it right next to me it's everything i got in pr that's new so i'm going to test it out with you guys so if you want to see how everything turns out mentally physically and the products then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the dom fam and without further ado let's get in to this video all right you guys i'm gonna start here <laughs> i have no makeup on other than my brows so let's go ahead and start with primer there's this one from essence i love essence they are one of my favorite drugstore beauty brands they just do it right even for makeup artists that are celebrities they actually use some essence when it comes to mascaras especially but this is hydrating face primer so it's supposed to give you like a translucent soft finish it's moisturizing it's vegan it's refreshing and all that stuff then there's this one from nyx which i've heard great things about it's not that new but i haven't tried it and i love the name the marshmallow primer just the fact that marshmallow is in it i want to use it but you know what let's try the beauty high it's a yellow primer i'm gonna try that because essence is everything and i need hydration in my life i'm always on here talking to you guys about seeing the light stay positive and i'm not saying not to but i'm also telling you guys that it's okay to like be in that moment because we have to live out our emotions we can't just hide them and like pretend like they're not there because that's unhealthy too obviously don't sit there forever but it's okay to be like things are not going my way maybe things are not fair or not right and i'm hurt whatever and it's okay to feel that so i'm, I'm just letting myself feel that right now and hoping that these products i'm gonna just i'm gonna just try both look how cute that is it's like a pillow a little pillow primer as you guys know i'm a mom i'm a wife I'm a brand owner and I'm a content creator. And there are days when things just literally are not going the right way. And I kind of just like, you have to be strong and hold on for everyone. But at the same time, like live that moment, like experience it. But I want to be okay. So that's why I'm here with you. My face does feel a lot more hydrated now. I do feel like I'm getting like a stuffy nose and my throat has been kind of like itchy, allergy vibes more than anything, but I feel really dry. So that actually helped my skin, both of those products together. Hopefully it doesn't, I have to shave my mustache. <laughs> I have to do something with this mustache right here. It is really long and, and my brows too, but whatever, we're just out here living our life. I'm gonna go into the next thing. Let's just look in our bag. I have all the drugstore right in this bag. There's this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector. It's called a four-in-one glow makeup, but this says it's primer, concealer, highlighter, and BB cream. So it's like, what do I use it for? Everything. I already put, on, ooh, the marshmallow primer smells amazing. Just putting it out there, I can smell it on my face and hands and I really like it. If you don't like scents, you're probably not gonna like that, but I do. So this one is in light. I think I'm gonna try this out for a little bit of a highlight concealer vibe. Physician's Formula, this is clear coverage. There's niacinamide in that. I love that skincare aspect. Oh, this is full coverage. Mm. The only thing that's kind of like making me feel like I don't wanna use this is that it's matte. I don't wanna look matte, flat and matte. So um, I think I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula. If it's not enough coverage, we have concealer and I'll use a little bit of that later. But this is medium. Let me see if there's a lighter one. 
Actually, I tanned the other day. I'm probably medium. I'm gonna mix them together. So we're gonna test out the Butter Believe It Foundation Concealer. And this is for all skin types and it's medium to full coverage. So let's try it out. I'm gonna try medium, a medium pump. And then I'm gonna try a light to medium pump just to mix that in there. Ooh, this, that's weird. This came out watery and the other one came out thick on her face. Oh, wow. That is some coverage. I feel like this is a little deep, like a little yellow, but I think we can mix it into our neck and bronzer and everything's gonna make it look a little bit better. I mean, it blends really nicely into the skin and it like carries really well. Like it just keeps gliding over everything. It's very lightweight and it moves really easy. It's so crazy because when I do interviews or people just ask me about how do you keep up with being a mom or how do you handle being a mom, a, a business owner and everything that you do, how do you not let it affect you? in different aspects of your life. Like when something goes wrong, I'm like, it does affect me. It, it affects everything that I do. It's more of how you kind of handle it when you are going through something that isn't going your way or just is not working out. You just kind of go through it and you pick yourself up. I don't have it all figured out. I kind of deal with things as they come. I do have to say like one thing I don't do is I try not to like put on to anyone all the like heavy weight of whatever I'm going through because I don't want them to feel that heavy weight but at the same time everyone needs somebody to listen to them and kind of be that ear I always keep in mind like for friends if they're going through something be an ear and to say hey if you need to talk I'm here you know what I mean that means so much sometimes it's good to just ask how's everything going is everything okay because that person may feel like they need somebody but they can't talk to anyone because they, they don't want to put their problems onto someone else. Okay, that foundation was good. Like, it covered everything. I really like it. That's a medium to full coverage foundation. You guys need to check it out. It's so good. It smells good. And it made my skin look like it's back to normal again, you know? So while my foundation kind of sets on my face, I'm gonna go into the eyes. There's this palette from e.l.f. It's called the Cookies and Cream, Cookies and Dreams, and there's like a whole collection for it, but I'm just gonna use the palette. I think it's really cute and interesting how they chose blue for cookies. But dreams, I get it. And I love cookies and cream, so why not? I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a very matte kind of bone color. And we're gonna take that all over the lid. I already kind of set my eyes with foundation. I'm just gonna set everything on top so it doesn't move around with this neutral bone color. And I love this pop of blue. It's very different. Like I wouldn't expect blue to be in like a cookies and cream palette, but I'm excited for it because I get to try something different on my eyes. I am a neutral glam girl, but it's nice to have like a little pop. So I'm gonna go into this tan shade right here. I'm gonna take it in the crease and then in the outer third of the eye, like outer half. I don't think this color gets very deep though, but it's gonna give us a little, a little depth, something that wasn't there before for sure. And I'm gonna try not to put my mirror straight in the camera. I keep forgetting that this is the camera and I'm just like, <laughs> this is a YouTube video that we're filming right now, but we're doing it old school style. So I have my phone in a ring light. I'm using the sunlight behind the ring light and I just like doing it old school style now. It just feels better to me. I don't know why. It just feels more like natural to me and I'm in my house. You guys can see my plant back there. It's fake, but you know, it's back there and it's like I'm in my house. So I feel very comfortable, but I'm going to go into this deeper brown and grab that and take it on the outer part of the eye, like further out from like the half of the lid, I'm going on the outer third of the lid, even more depth towards the end of the eye. I mean, it's not like super pigmented, but it's it's going on like very smooth. Even though it's like a brown, it's not giving me chocolate, you know? I kind of want chocolate. <laughs> or maybe I'm just hungry because I, I literally have only ate a banana today, like water and banana, that's all. Wow, she's healthy. Honestly, I have been eating and drinking so bad. Everything is super sweet. I feel it. I wouldn't like normally be like, oh my God, like I'm super health conscious or anything, which not it's not a bad thing. I think it's great when people are, you know, conscious about their health. Usually I will just indulge, like whatever, just live life a little bit. But I feel my body like needs to take a like a rest from all the sugar. And I don't even eat that much sugar. It's literally just in my coffee, but I just feel like I need more water and like no coffee. What was that? 
that was my cat oh my god i literally had a heart attack right now like i almost whoa that was creepy something fell on the floor really far i think it was like downstairs but it had to have been one of my cats mochi or mocha they probably dropped something because i just heard them pounce on the stairs is that me making all that noise mochi just walked in i'm pretty sure it was him he's always causing a scene okay i'm not gonna lie that brown is lacking brown like it needs more warmth to it it's just not giving me brown so i'm taking this which is new from milani it's their silky matte bronzing powder i'm just going over a little bit like right here to give some like dimension to this brown so it gives the eye a little bit more life so i'm going above and below it this eye has a completely different shape like the skin is different on this eye would i suggest these browns in this palette Probably definitely not, you know, but we're here. We're trying it out. It's new. So we have to test it I want to take this blue this deep blue right here and I want to line my lash line with it There's this liner brush from Sigma. It's called the E. Oh my god. It faded. It's the E6 or something like that E5 and hopefully this is a pigmented blue, but I want to do a line with it. Before I start that line, I'm gonna start this like backdrop of this baby blue right behind it first. The look and feel that I was thinking for this backdrop, I don't think it's gonna give me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just play with it for now right there, but really focus it on this inner corner area since we have it and it's such a tiny little space. I'm gonna focus it right on this like area right here. So I'm gonna do the other eye really quick. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the deeper black brown that I wasn't a fan of, but I think it, it actually will make a good backdrop to the blue. I just want there to be like a drop shadow kind of effect going with this liner. So I'm gonna go over that blue. I'm gonna tell you now the foundation sticks where you put it like it feels like if I move it It's gonna be patchy and you probably want to use this palette before you do your face Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the blue. It's really pretty blue actually matches my shirt Completely unintentional did not think I was gonna use this exact same color as my shirt But we're here and we're doing it and my nails are pink. So <laughs> that is definitely a vibe of some kind I might need to wet it. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to wet the brush so I'm gonna take this matte finish spray from NYX and see if that helps us out a little bit. Okay, that helped us out a lot. Honestly, just adding that pop of color on my eye made my mood just boost up a little bit more. Not gonna lie. Wow, like that color made me a little bit more happier. That is so pretty. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna take this little pencil brush and go into this shimmery blue color. I feel like that would be really pretty on the inner corner on top of the matte. It's just really pretty like shimmery glowy blue baby blue i feel like my under eyes look crazy but we'll fix all the face later um a moment please so the palette broke <laughs> it's just the black the black color that fell out but i just want to take that shimmery color and pop it into the inner corner area like the inner third i will be right back i have to clean it this is a hot mess so i'm just going to take some on this and put it underneath my eyes you see that blue? I think it's gonna look really pretty, especially like blue with brown eyes actually looks really good. I mean, I like color. I like bold pops of color, but just I like to use them in a way where it's wearable. Okay, is this giving me coverage? This is giving me a lot of shimmer. Let's go ahead and put it all in this area then. Glow us up. I usually do like a cream contour, but I don't have a new drugstore one. So I'm just gonna do powder contour. It's giving me like a nice glow that I really like, but it's not giving me the coverage that I need. I'm gonna have to use a different concealer because I need more coverage. So I'm just gonna use this one just in that inner corner area. Okay, you guys, I don't have a setting powder. So I'm just gonna use a regular setting powder. This one's from Laura Mercier. Jaden is home. Jaden, he's gonna be here in just a second. But I wanted to show you guys this is so freaking cute from Physicians Formula. It's called Strawberry Jam. How cute is that? And it has little strawberries on it. How adorable. I'm just so excited to use this because of the, the cuteness. It's exploding through the screen, I hope. It smells like strawberries. Oh my God, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. And it's so cute. So I'm, I'm really excited to put this on my face right now. 
So I'm gonna take my brush and all oh, the strawberries kind of go away after a while, but I'm just gonna take my brush and take a little bit of it right around the cheek area. Oh my God, that is, I put too much on my brush. Let's just say that. It's pigmented. It smells good, it's pigmented. It doesn't need to be that pigmented. I also didn't need to put that much on, but it's very cute. Put some on my nose. So I have a ton of new highlights. There's this beautiful highlight bar from Milani. There's so many different shades in here, it's so pretty. But the one that stood out to me the most, that was the newest, is from, from Physicians Formula because it's so cute. I love cute packaging like this and it smells so good. Like, so freaking good. Like, I wish you could smell this. Butternut, that's exactly what it smells like. Like coconut, almost. Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna use this one. Oh my goodness. I did not have to put that much on. Oh my God. Be very careful with this. It is intense. Oh my goodness. This is too much. I'm gonna go into my nose, like right here. This is very gold, by the way. <laughs> this is very gold. I'm gonna take this setting spray from Milani. It's called Make It Dewy. And it says 16 hour wear because I want my makeup to kind of last all day. I'm gonna use this one. The fact that it's a dewy finish. Yes. And I have a lot of powder on, so it works. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just press it over the crazy intense areas so it softens them up again. Okay, so I have lashes, but the lashes that I have are too intense. Like, these are too long, you know? Should I try it? Like, I feel like this one's way too long. Mm, it actually might not be bad. I'll just cut it like to there. It could be a half lash. That could be cute. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put these on. These are from Kiss. They're the new lash strip so spiky x boosted volumes so we're gonna put those on and i'll be right back back with the lashes i filled in my hairline i was honestly born with this hairline Jaden. anyway so i put on my lashes they actually don't look bad at all i like the way they look it just gives it a little bit of something that it needed and for this like pop of blue the dramatic lashes match. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just need to put mascara on my lower lash line. I tight line my upper lash line, so easy. This is super pigmented, it's from Maybelline. It's the Elasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. It, it just glided on so easy, very black and didn't go anywhere. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Very happy with how that went on. And now I'm gonna try out the Maybelline Sky High in Cosmic Black. Looks like this. I'm gonna put it on my lower lashes. These are perfect for lower lashes. These type of wands that are just like that molded brush. Very nice, love that. I don't know how I feel about it for the top lashes, but definitely love it for the bottom lashes. It like grabs all the little tiny hairs and pulls them out from their hiding place. Very, very nice. I really like this. Definitely gonna try it on my top lashes, but I do love it for my bottom. And then for lip, I don't have like a lip liner from a drugstore that I have that I love right now, other than the next one that I've showed you before and I don't wanna use it again. So I'm just gonna take MAC Oak Lip Liner because I feel like this is like neutral enough to vibe with this blue. And it's also like a hint of brown, so it's gonna look good. It's just really defining my lip line. And then I'm gonna use this gloss that is really pretty from Essence. So I would just use any like neutral, soft brown. Essence came out with the Volume Lip Gloss and it's supposed to have extreme shine and give you a little bit of plumping. I'm not really here for the extra plumping because I already have plump lips, but why not? And I really like the color, honestly. And I like this wand, it's so soft. Like the brush is so pillowy. This is the final look. I'm gonna take off my headband. <sighs> take a look at myself and know that this is a new day and I'm gonna go out and just like be my best, the best version of myself now. I'm gonna do my hair and show you guys posing shots of this look. <laughs> I'll be right back. watching I feel so much better I honestly really feel so much better thank you guys for being here for me this time I love you so much I really enjoyed how this look came out I actually experimented more with this blue thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I feel 
so much better now. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for this therapy session, really. <laughs> Trying new makeup and doing a new different type of look with like a bold color really lifted my spirits. Like I just feel so much better. And I hope you guys focus on yourself and be there with your emotions. It's okay to not feel happy all the time and also to move through them. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here for me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.